Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and I'm gonna talk about two of my favorite things in this video. It's actually kind of kind of cool, but kind of depressing. We're gonna talk about animation, awesome. And we're gonna talk about Pink Floyd, one of my favorite bands. Actually, it might be my favorite band of all time, and they had an art competition. They had an animation competition, and there's controversy because the winners used AI. And uh, they actually beat out some other hand-drawn animation. And I, personally, I'm looking at the AI animation, and I don't think it's really anything to write home about. It actually reminds me of uh, a video from Gunship they did uh, a couple of months ago. And it was, it was cool, but it was obviously, you know, AI. But that was kind of the point, too, because, you know, AI... Uh, art or you know themes of uh, artificiality and stuff creep into synthwave and it, it made sense you know for gunship to to use AI uh, I think I, I don't think it makes as much sen sense for uh, uh, Pink Floyd but we're going to talk about this we're going to talk about the controversy before we get into it any further please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys uh, yeah check this out this come from Animation World Network we're going to go out to Twitter too and actually I heard about last night my son told me he's like hey did you hear about the pink floyd art contest i'm like no what roger waters is being called a nazi again no 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 it's worse it's ai <laughs> you know, his twitter thinks it's worse uh pink floyd's dark side of the moon animation competition winners announced 10 winning films will roll out daily through april 7th brain damage takes first place and a hundred thousand is a hundred thousand dollars us i think i don't know but yeah, there's a controversy. Um, you know, let's look at this. This is the winning video by Damien uh, Gome for Any Color You Like in Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon 50th Anniversary Animation Competition. Stephen Ford says, fuck you. Stephen Ford, uh, director boy, common writer and Team Wolf. Wow. I wouldn't tell Pink Floyd to go go fuck themselves personally but this is very much i mean is this the same guy the same guy who did the gunship video it looks very much like the gunship video i mean it's it's cool here's mine for the same song so this wasn't ai i take it i don't know um famous rock band hosts an animated music video competition for any of their dark side of the moon songs offering up to a hundred thousand dollars for whoever wins looks inside it's ai slop AI artists on their way to generate another slot video. <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah. So the wall had some amazing, amazing animation. So Gerald Scoff actually did designs for Hercules for Disney. Did you know that? You can actually see it. If you, if you look squint, especially the, uh, the centaur looks very much like one of his designs, but yeah, he did all the, uh, the concept art for the wall. Uh, he's the guy who did the art for Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Uh, he did the animation um, for The Wall. And uh, amazingly talented artist. And yeah, I don't think he uses AI. This, <laughs> his GIF has more personality than the entire anniversary video. Wow. Wow, an animation made with almost no effort, entirely from the stolen work of others. Sad and pathetic. So the gorgeous hand animated submissions you picked over this generated AI slop. Whoever managed this competition should be fired immediately. Absolutely embarrassing for you. What a fucking disappointment. Pretty solid note for the field of art to die on. Put this in the history books. So yeah, this, this um, Pink Floyd Eclipse animation, and this is how I saw it, uh, was actually, which is amazing. This is amazing. This AI video beat out this hand-drawn Mobius style, amazing Mobius style animation. Now, I'm not going to play the music because I'm going to get dinged if I do. But look at this. Let, let, let's, I don't know if I can, how much I can show. Let's, uh, can I skip ahead to parts where she's not naked? Uh, she's, there we go. She's not naked there. Uh, Josh Bauer. Very, very good art. The technique that I use for creating my animation is AI. The official Pink Floyd YouTube channel has uploaded a behind the scenes video with the artist behind the winning video. It's absolutely bonkers. God, that's depressing. 
Um, I'm willing to bet that they didn't enjoy the anime animated style. Lots of older people in the UK don't. Um, it's not anime. This actually looks to me, this looks like Mobius and this looks like a very, I, I, if Pink Floyd were French, I think they would have won, but man, this is crazy. Uh, so let's see if we can find some other stories on this art contest. Not a lot of people covering it. It's almost like here, let's, let's go here. Uh, cartoon brew. It's almost like people don't really care about Pink Floyd that much anymore. <laughs> I'm just old. No, actually, I my mom worked in a record store when I was a kid. And uh, so I'm kind of an old head. But yeah, Pink Floyd's one of my favorite bands. Also Radiohead. Also Smashing Pumpkins. Uh, for those of you keeping track. But yeah, Pink Floyd animation contest criticized for exploiting filmmakers. Cartoon Brew. Uh, update. Hmm. An earlier version of this article included information shared by Pink Floyd, which stated that the British Film Institute was working with the band on their animation contest and will be part of the selection jury. The BFI has since responded to our request for comment, clarified they're not involved in any way. So we have removed any reference to the organization from our copy. Pink Floyd has also removed references to the BFI from their contest page. I don't want anything to do with it. Um, anyway, Pink Floyd has announced an animated video competition for the 50th anniversary release of Dark Side of the Moon. The response from the creative community has been overwhelmingly negative with hundreds of people on social media calling the contest exploitive. The iconic British rock band put out a call last week to a new generation of animators to create music videos for any of its 10 songs on its 1973 album. The group said it has a rich history of collaborating with animators uh, from the beginnings of the band. Yeah. Gerald Scaff. Uh, they also worked with, uh, Storm Thurgeson? Was it uh, Hypnosis? I think did most of their I, th I think did most of their album covers, including the Division Bell, which I think is massively underrated. But uh in some cases, the visuals that accompany the songs have become synonymous with the music itself, further adding that wanted to present a fresh take on these timeless oral works. That's it, Pink Floyd. You're not cool anymore. Man, Nick Mason, he's like 80 now. That's strange. While acknowledging the importance animation has played in establishing the legacy of many of the group's songs, the terms and conditions of the contest show no respect for participants whatsoever. Besides structuring the contest on a spec work basis, wow, which everyone knows is a big no-no, the PR-friendly announcement neglects to mention that the rights to all submitted works, even those that don't win, are surrendered to Pink Floyd Music Limited in perpetuity. Well, that's a bigger red flag to me than AI. Damn. Perhaps it could be argued that the competition was launched naively with the best of intentions, except that the legalese and the terms and conditions clearly demonstrates that those in charge were well aware of what they're doing. All right, here we go. Um, they said, you hereby agree and acknowledge that in submitting your video entry, you... Uh, revocably, exclusively, and with full title guarantee assigned to the promoter, including by way of a present uh, assignment of future rights, all rights, and to the uh, and to the your video entry, including without limitation, copyrights, etc., 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 free from all claims and encumbrances. Blah 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 blah. Get down here to what is this uh, point twenty four, without in any way limiting the generality of the assignment of rights set out in clause 23 and above the promoter will have the sole right to monetize and use the submitted video entry content from the winners, including without limitation on Pink Floyd's YouTube channel and its other social network pages, including without limitation, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. That's not cool. That's not cool. I don't think that's cool. That is not cool of you, Pink Floyd. The person running the social media is getting paid. Whoever thought this was a stupid idea is getting paid. Pink Floyd is getting paid. Why would you make an animator or filmmaker work for free? Exposure ain't going to pay your rent. This is completely unethical. Pink Floyd are a huge band with huge budgets, and yet they're doing a competition which will get them tons of free music videos. Do they realize how labor-intensive animation is? Not if it's AI. <laughs> they do. That's why they picked AI. No, I don't know. Damn. Uh, yeah, this is a, I, I, I mean, I don't believe this, this is Pink Floyd themselves. I think this is uh, whoever's running this competition, but let's go see what their upvotes and downvotes are like on their YouTube channel. So this one's got, it's only got 58,000 views. Any color you like, 
two days ago, 2,000 up votes, 7.3 thousand down votes. Am I gonna get struck for this? I mean, they probably, <laughs> they just used AI, right? You can't copyright it, right? But yeah, 2,000 up votes to 7.3 thousand down votes. I don't know, guys, this is a bad look. That being said, I thought Pink Floyd were done. I thought they put out their last album. I thought we were done with this. We got Roger Waters being called a Nazi current year because he wore a military jacket on stage or something. Like, what the frick? I don't know, guys. Whatever. I think they should just enjoy their money, maybe. Uh, David Gilmore should take another cruise on his multi-million dollar recording studio boat that he owns. <laughs> and maybe just stay out of this. I don't know. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Leave a comment. We'll talk later.